hi everyone welcome back to another brand new video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your pc to improve your fps and get better performance in pubg i'll be covering best pc settings to best in game settings so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said let's get started with the intro all right step number one is the best windows settings and for that press settings on your pc and then head over to gaming go over to game bar and simply turn this thing off game bar consumes a lot of cpu and memory in your background and disabling so will help you to get rid of all of them right beneath that you'll find graphic settings click on that and then click on change default graphic settings enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your gpu to render the game as well as reducing your input latency after that, head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then look for the game installed on your PC. To find your game, simply right click on PUBG and then head over to manage, click on browse local files. Over here, simply copy this file location, go back to gaming, head over to the browse button and then simply paste it right over here. Head over to TSL game, binaries, win64 and you'll find tslgame.exe. Simply click on add and add this in your list. Head over to options, select high performance and then click on save. After that, head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will reduce the number of applications and services running in the background and it will also help you to reduce the number of notifications that you get. After that, simply close your settings. Okay, before moving ahead, I want to tell you guys about Ezus Voice Wave, which is a super amazing voice changer powered with AI, offering over 300 voices and a completely customizable environment, which you can download from the link in the description below. You can not only use it real time, but you can also use it to change voices in pre-recorded audios and videos. Here is how I sound like if I select Paimon. And it is super amazing. So go check out Ezus voice wave from the link in the description below next step is compatibility settings and for that head back to the download location of your game simply go over to browse local files once you're over here go over to tsl engine binaries win64 and right click on your tsl game head over to properties click on compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations after that click on change high dpi settings select override high dpi scaling behavior and then click on ok once that is done click on apply and close it next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc once you're here look for your local disk c click on create and name it pubg so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done close it and then close system properties next step is the pubg season 32 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can simply open this thing up and you'll find six simple folders first one is cpu priority in which you'll find amd and intel cpu priority once again if you have an amd cpu you can double click and run the amd cpu priority and if you have an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority second one is ram optimization in which i have left a ton of optimizations for your memory once again i have 32 gb ram so i need to run 32 gb ram registry it could be different for for you so you can select one from your preset and if that doesn't work out as intended you can reset it back to default from here after that head over to the third folder which is pubg pc priority in which i have left pubg above normal priority and high priority once again i want you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here once again if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to normal over here fourth is unwanted services and over here i have left a ton of services to disable on your pc these services constantly run in the background consuming your cpu ram and disk usage disabling so will help you to fix a lot of problems on your pc if you use any bluetooth devices or printer services simply leave these ones but other than that i would highly recommend you guys to disable every single one of them if you want to revert any one of them you can always revert them from this folder next is a useful programs folder in which i have left clean temporary files you can simply right click and run this as administrator and then you can press any key to continue this will delete all temporary files on your pc which will help you to remove unwanted ram usage Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click on this as administrator. Once you are here, select your graphic card and then click on the MSI button in front of it. For the intro priority, set this thing to high and then click on apply. This will help you to set your GPU, SFIU priority and intro priority to high, ensuring that it is utilized completely without any hindrance while you're rendering the game. Last is your input lag fix and over here, if you have an input latency on your keyboard, you guys can use a ultra high end keyboard buffer over here or a high end keyboard buffer over here and it will help 
help you to set the correct buffer for your keyboard, optimizing your input latency. Once again, I would also recommend you guys, if that doesn't help you out, you can go back to default keyboard buffer over here. Next is mouse latency optimization in which there is disable pointer precision. If you use a trackpad, do not run this, but if you have a physical mouse, disable your pointer precision. It will make your screen drag equivalent to the drag on your desk. So the amount of drag your mouse does on the desk is reflected on your screen. Next is fixed mouse delay registry in which I have set up the correct coordinate and the smooth curves of your mouse. I would recommend you guys to simply double click and run it and it will help you to put up the correct values for that. Once that is done, feel free to close the FES pack. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're in performance option, simply click on adjust for best performance, then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts and show window contents while dragging. Only enable these things because it will help you to deanimate your windows, reduce unnecessary animations while keeping the minimal look of your windows intact. After that, head over to the advanced tab and here is how you guys can set up your virtual memory click on the change button over here and then deselect automatically manage paging file size after that for the initial size set this thing to 1361 for the maximum size open up your calculator and multiply your ram that is 32 gb for me with 1024 to get the memory in megabytes after that divide this by two and the new value that you get over here is to be pasted in the maximum size virtual memory uses your rom as your ram in case of any emergency or need your game might demand more ram so this is how you can allot more ram to your pc once that is done, click on set, click on OK and then click on apply. This will apply all of these settings to your PC. Next step is fixing all of your ping, packet loss and latency issues using no ping. It's a free to use tool that you can find from the link in the description below. Once you download and open it up, you will find an interface like this where you can find over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply look for PUBG over here and click on select the server. This will take you to the nearest servers for you. Simply look for the servers which have the lowest ping. For me, it will be Mumbai 01. So simply click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game right away. The best part about no ping is the settings get over here which offers you turbo games to improve your keyboard response time and a dedicated FPS boost section wherein if you enable these settings you can actually gain a lot more FPS than you usually do. So I highly recommend you guys to go check out Noping from the link in the description below. I use it for myself and I can see the difference. It's completely worth it. Next step is disk defragmentation and for that simply search for defrag and optimize drives and once you're here look for your local disk C. If it is a solid state drive simply click on optimize and it will start trimming your SSD. This will fix all of the unused storage spaces on your SSD which are between two partitions and will help you to utilize them in a better way. Once again if that is a hard disk drive click on analyze and it will analyze the empty spaces between your used compartments and after that click on optimize and it will start fragmenting the hard disk drive. Both of them will help you to increase the lifespan of your disks and also help you to improve the performance. Once it is done, simply click on close and now you guys can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, so once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Over here in the graphics, for the basic settings, make sure that you turn off your NVIDIA highlights if you have it enabled. Display mode should be a native display mode and your resolution should also be a native monitor resolution. Then for the in-game FPS cap, I would recommend you guys to set it to 3 FPS lower than your monitor's refresh rate. My monitor refresh rate is 240, so I'll keep it 237. So you can simply type in 237 and that should be it. Once that is done, click on apply. Head over to the advanced settings over here. And for the render scale, you guys can go with 90. This setting will actually lower your graphic quality, but this will help you to gain extra FPS. FPS. For the FPP camera FOV, I would recommend you guys to go with 103. Overall graphics quality should be set to custom. Anti-aliasing, I recommend you guys to go with very low or low. Post-processing should be set to very low. Shadows should be set to low or very low. Textures should be set to medium. Effects to be set to low. Foliage should be set to very low. View distance should be set to medium or high. Sharpen should be disabled. V-Sync should be disabled. Motion blur should be disabled. And DirectX version, you guys can go with DirectX 12. I'll go with dx11 enhanced this is really good i personally like dx12 because this has a better performance in it once it is done click on apply and that is it these are the best settings for this game if you guys want to play it so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash it subscribe button we have also launched channel membership so if you guys are not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it really helps me out see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out